Hello and welcome to this week's BNZ World Report. I am your host, Angela Ray, where we will discuss global topics and events from around the world. Our first story comes to us from the New York Times com and it reads inmates make tough debaters now what do a group of law school students criminal justice students and happy-go-lucky therapy academics have in common well they've all been defeated in debate by the author kill debate team now author kill debate team you might be thinking what college are they from well they're actually inmates the inmates recently defeated students from the Eugene Lang College of the new school and what was their topic of debate whether or not the government should actually fund education for those who are imprisoned i think that those people from arthur kill definitely had the inside track on that one all right our next story comes to us from hiphoppress.com and it reads the hip-hop community in arizona comes together to protest the state's immigration law well we know many people have been actively weighing in their opinions about the new immigration law in the state of Arizona. And the hip hop community in Arizona came together in a not in my backyard approach to the state's new immigration law with a remake of the public enemy song, By the Time I Get to Arizona. Of course, a video is soon to follow. Now, those of you who follow hip hop know that it was about 15 years ago when the original By the Time I Get to Arizona song was released by Public Enemy in the state of Arizona because they failed to observe the Dr. Martin Luther King birthday as a federal holiday. All right, our next story comes to us from the NewYorkTimes.com. Obama asked graduates to close the education gap. Well, President Obama, in his first time officially as president, addressed a historically black college, Hampton University in Virginia, for their commencement and asked them and told them they have a separate responsibility to become mentors to other young African Americans and to help close a persistent gap in educational achievement. Now, Mr. Obama, of course, was in his Hampton Blue as he addressed the 1,072 graduates on last week and told them that they are definitely poised better to enter an economy that is recovering from a recession than those who do not have a college degree. All right, we are about to go to Team Brand News for this special report, catching up with my man, Mr. Drumline himself, Nick Cannon. I always call myself an entrepreneur. I mean, they, they see the movies or they even see me in the tabloids with my wife or all of that good stuff. But I'm really trying to establish uh, a true conglomerate. Um, and when I speak about that, it's like really taking this 360 idea of what entertainment has become and being able to find young artists and implement them into film, television, and music. And uh, be a producer. I kind of been behind the scenes a lot more than I've been in front of the camera, even though that's where most people know me from. I actually started off as a writer, well, a stand up comic, and then I went into writing for television at the age of 17. And then from there, I kind of learned the, the the inside of the game and everything from uh, how, what goes on behind the scenes. And then from there I started producing television, producing films, uh, producing music as well. And now I feel like I get the opportunity to bring that to the forefront by uh, finding new talent like young Aaron Fresh, kind of giving him the game and letting him do things and you know producing and directing for uh, Nickelodeon, MTV and all of those things. And I actually, they gave me the opportunity to be the youngest television chairman in television history on Team Nick, so I kind of have my own network, so I'm, I'm doing what Oprah's doing, let's just say that. What about you, young Aaron Fresh? He made me smile for, for, <laughs> for giving me an opportunity to be in this business, so yeah, I think you, you, you're fulfilling that, man. Hey, that's what's up. You know? All right, thank you team. Brand news for that special report. Wow, Nick Cannon's been up to a lot of things since we first saw him on the national scene in Drumline. All right, and our last story of this week, of course, the nation, the world actually mourns the loss of actress, 
singer, movie star, and beautiful civil rights icon, Miss Lena Horne. Of course, we lost Miss Lena Horne at the age of 92. For those of you who don't know, she spanned, had a career that spanned almost 40 years. One of her most popular roles was in the movie Stormy Weather. We're gonna miss you, my sore, but definitely rest in peace. And I'd like to say a special thank you to Mr. Christopher Play Martin, who sat in for me over the last two weeks while I was honeymooning after my wedding. But that's it. I was a honeymoon. <laughs> Good girls don't kiss and tell. And that's it for that's this. It. I <laughs> That's it for this week's BNZ World Report. For more news with less of our views, please visit our website at brandnews.com. Make it a great week. Asking me how was my honeymoon. You know how my honeymoon was. I was gone for two weeks.